Hey everybody, this is Jason with Lone Star Catfish. So I'm doing a quick, uh, quick evening trip tonight. Um, I've come over to a new spot uh, to do a little prospecting. I'm right uh, at the mouth of one of the main creeks that runs through uh, the area here, right where it starts to open up. It's a bit of a choke point right here and, and a hole. I see some good activity on the scope. Um, caught some fresh bait before I left uh, uh, shore over there, uh, mostly tilapia. I, I, I caught some actually pretty big tilapia. Uh, I threw the big ones back. I kept some of the smaller ones that I can cut up into some good chunk baits. Um, and that's what I'm, I got a little bit of shad here. I got a little bit of tilapia over there. So I'm going to see what they might be like. And as normal, I'm fishing at about six and a half feet, six and a half to seven feet, uh, depending on the rod here. Um, like I said, I've got a short night because I've got to get back uh, before sundown. And um, I've got a pretty strong headwind that I'm going to be paddling back into. I'm, I am praying that when the sun goes down, um, or at least gets close to being down, that that wind dies down a little bit, because it was um, it was precarious getting over here, um, and that was mostly downwind. Uh, so we'll see what it's going to be like going back into the wind. Um, so that's it. Hopefully, uh, you know, I, I, like I said, I see some good activity on the scope here. Hopefully, that's going to translate into some fish. I'm already getting some bites, but so far they look like dink taps. So I may stay here for 10 or 15 minutes and then move try to make the most out of this short trip but at the same time I don't want to spend a whole lot of time moving because I, I really only have about two hours and then I'm gonna have to hightail it because uh, that's when the sun's gonna set so that's it let's get to it hopefully I'll have something to show you let's do a quick bait check yep I don't want to spend a lot of time sitting here with bare hooks so if I get much of any bites right now I'm gonna you know with no hookup I'm gonna I'm going to pull it and I'm going to check it. I've got to maximize my time with bait in the water. Yep, another one there. So, it'll be my theme tonight is try to get some quick action, check the baits. Definitely, the aim is not to be patient tonight. The aim is to be a little bit in a hurry. Uh, there we go. So with bait on there, they're coming back. So I know there's fish in here. Just don't know if they're any big. Come on. There we go. There we go. What do we got here? What channel cat? Still just barely got it hooked. I may have to look at getting some little bit better hooks. These fish are not engaging in the lip. Oh, there's a double. Oh, that is a good fish on there. All right, good size channel right there. I've got an even bigger one on the line over here, so we're gonna get him back. All right, what do we got going here? What do we got going here? It's a good fish. It's a good fish. Actually, gonna have to reel a little bit, I think, on this one. Come on. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is what we're here for. Yeah, baby. Oh, baby, baby, baby. Some of that loving right there. Oh yeah. That is a pretty blue cat right there. Come here, buddy. Got him. Got him. Great blue. Great blue. Oh, baby. Look at that fish. That is a good fish right there. Very nice. Come here. Come here. Nope. He is 26 inches. Very nice, healthy blue cat. That is exactly why. Okay, buddy. 
get a really shot here. All right, buddy. Go make more. Beautiful. All right, that was one on shad and one on tilapia. And that big one was on tilapia. And that is, that is a good sign because there are some, there are big tilapia in here. And so there's not a lot of big shad in here. So I struggle to get big shad. We don't have skipjack here. Um, so if they're going to eat tilapia, that's great because I can get me some big tilapia. Some of the tilapia I caught earlier, you know, I mentioned they were big enough to put on the dinner plate. Um, so that's a good sign. That, that gives me just another option here to put on the hook. All right, let's do it again. Another good fish. She's making a big boil with his tail when he gets close here. Come on. Oh, another good boil. Another good boil. And just got me soaking wet. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I've been nice when it's 90, but it's a little chilly tonight. All right. Quite as good as the other one. All right. All right. There we go. Another nice blue. Another nice blue. All right. That guy's about 22 and a half. Another excellent blue. All right, buddy. Bye-bye. Right now, I'm in a good position. I've got the anchor in a good spot. The wind is just sort of rotating the boat back and forth, so I'm, my baits are sort of sweeping back and forth across here, uh, which I like. You know, it just allows me to kind of cover a little bit more area. Um, I don't know if it makes a whole lot of difference, but it makes me feel better. You know, hit just a couple little di different depths um, rather than dropping it down in the same spot every time. I think he's on there. Let's pick up on him and see what we got. All right. He's a little smaller. Yep, definitely a little smaller. Oh, he snagged himself. Look at that. Can you see that? That was an excuse me right there. Little channel cat. About 18 and a quarter. 18 and a quarter. That's a good fish, though. That's a good fish. Here we go. There's another good fish. Whoa! <laughs> that's, a, that's a better fish. Oh, he's going to get my anchor rope. be the best one of the day. Let's see. That is the best one of the day. Oh, it's a good fish. That is a good, good fish. <laughs> Get 
this out of my lap. I need to put that there. Tell you what, he didn't give me a chance to finish up from this last fish. All right. Especially for around these parts. Oh. Oh. He's 28 and a quarter. 28 and a quarter. He oh. was fun too. He was fun. There. I think what I'm setting on here is a really nice choke point as the fish are coming in and out of this creek. Uh, this is a very nice, uh, well protected, shaded, a lot of cover, a lot of structure creek. So the bait fish love to come back up in here. And so my hope when coming over here was that those, these blues would be doing the same thing. Um, this particular spot right here. Got just you can see it's actually a, a real shallow area right over there, and then you got this point that comes out that you can see um, looks like it just dropped straight off. So the a channel right here, like the little highway that they're running through, that was the plan, and so far it seems to be paying off. <laughs> he almost boated himself. I think he's on there. <laughs> Singing a song. <laughs> That's a good, that's a good blue right there. I know that's a, that's a dink by many people's standards, but that's a good blue for out here. <laughs> He's got the bait in his mouth again. And like the nice guy I am, I'm gonna let you have it. He's. You know, he's in that 18 inch range. It's a pretty fish though, isn't he? Look at that. All right. Thank you, buddy. All right, well, I got one more piece of bait here. I got about eight minutes. I'm gonna see what I can do. All right, so it is 6.30. That is uh, the end of the day for me. I've got easily a 30 minute paddle back into the wind. Sun's gonna set in 15 minutes um, and I gotta get back to the house and get back to the shore before it gets dark. So uh, it was a good day. Uh, it, was, <laughs> it was a rough ride over here. It's gonna be a rough ride back, uh, but it was worth it. This is a good spot. I know this is a place that I can come and catch some fish, good sized fish. Uh, it's nice, it's peaceful back up in here. So definitely a place I'm gonna come back to again. So. Uh, that's all I have for you today. We'll see you next time.